and uh, work with our partners worldwide. And we are indeed very happy to have our friends here from from India. who are here with us in St. Vincent and the Grenadines. We know that they, we have a, a new university which has just opened and uh, they would continue to expand and grow. I'm also happy that I have with, with us here this morning uh, Mrs. Dean. Um, she's a lecturer at the, the community college here in St. Vincent and the Grenadines and it's important for us to to know what is happening with the university here. As you heard, the permanent secretary said that it's located on the, the road just before um, you meet where the former Governor General Sir Frederick Ballantyne parents used to live just around that that corner there, uh, where the um, the air conditioning place is is located, and we are very happy to to be here this this morning. As I mentioned before, the foreign policy of the government of Saint Vincent and the Grenadines is to spread our wings far and wide and to ensure that every opportunity is available for the young people of St. Vincent and the Grenadines to advance and to, to develop in different areas of specialities. Um, I know basically that they, from chatting with Malik, um, the School of Medicine is part of the what the university is all about, but there are other areas. This is another great opportunity that School of Ayurveda is another school we have in DBU Americas. So specifically naturopathy, panchkarma technology. So all these things will start from the September intake. As I said, every intake we are coming up with one school. And we submitted all the documents to the accreditation board as well. And we are in talk with the accreditation board and they are standing with us. And all documentation part relevant to all these programs is already submitted to the accreditation board. Honorable sir, this is our luck or opportunity we can say that we need to perform in a way where we can educate the world. By connection from north to south is not easy to set up all the things. Yeah by coming up in another nation with the students who already have their own dream. They want to become good doctor. They want to become good businessman. They want to become yoga specialist. They want to become good Ayurvedic person. Coming up in St. Vincent is again for those students is good opportunity. And they can explore themselves in a way where they can build their own future. It's all about education. Education is a pillar in every life. That's why we are here. Our Honorable President Dr. Sandeep Singh is currently heading the group of Desh Bhagat University. He is also on the mission that no one should miss any opportunity in his life in relate of education. So we started DBU online programs. So even this country can take opportunity to study online programs. And Desh Bhagat University is going to award them degree. By sitting in home, by use of sing simple your Android, you can take education. This is what we are. In the digital world, everything is easy. So even you do not need to cross the nations. By sitting in your home, you can give your exams. This is what we are. Honorable sir, this is the generation where everyone talk about the artificial intelligence and robotics. So we are in the loop. We already set up the system and this technology in India. And very soon, we are going to set up all the things in DBU Americas, in St. Vincent and the Grenadines for the local persons. Great. I would like to take a note from your side that we are ready to embed it our this 
nomenclature in the school of st vincent and the grenadines where our persons they can take opportunity to teach them to guide them about this ai and robotics every week even they can take classes for the students at least we can groom them and if they want to take some certificate program yes definitely db americas can provide them certificate program under ages of accreditation board once we will finalize all the paperwork with them so this is all opportunities we have and i think more to explore explore the things but once the time will come definitely we will look to we will work together and in collaboration or under ages of the ministry yes we can you know achieve heights another <clears throat> and last my point yes we offer scholarship to the st vincent students so in every school we can opt two students meritorious student of the nation we are ready to register with a 100% scholarship like if study if any student is who, who scored good marks and highest marks so we are ready to take them two students in every school we can take so if we have four schools then eight students we can take in a year this is what we announce from this platform i was very happy to hear that because that was all, like i said one of the motivating factors because as more universities place themselves here more opportunity for our people to have that experience um we all know we have our, our own university and those of us who have gone abroad to study and so on we know some of the difficulties that's engaged that that we are engaged in when we are abroad and this is why i when i spoke to our students i told them i know what it is like to not go to school in your own country you know and all the stress and so on that goes on with that but we are, we have promised to take very good care of them and um when i met one of our colleagues um he's not here now he has returned to india and he kept saying trying to understand indians in st vincent versus indians in india and the names and so on so i went off and got something from dr thomas <laughs> so that he could read it to explain <laughs> about the indians and so on and i'm happy to see i saw both two of you i think on the boat to bekwi some time ago and i was thinking oh that's good that they're exploring and so on and i've promised them a trip to sufre i would not be taking you but i know someone who perhaps can and um but the, the important thing is not just only about the education it's about the cultural exchange yeah. you know because we we you would learn i'm sure a lot more about indians traveling to this part of the world and you will go to trinidad or guyana you'll have a whole different experience with the indian community there than we have here so it will be good for you to to see that and we would also learn from you um even as the indian association is trying to educate the rest of us as well so um that being said um when i was asked to be a part of this enterprise i i was still uh, the person who called me said oh there's a new university why don't you come help set it up i said set it up what do i know about setting up a new university you know um but then anyway after i met mr malik and he explained and so on i said i would not at all mind being part of the registry um to deal with the student but as he rightly said we're only now starting so we're all kind of jack of all trades hopefully master of a few so we can mm. get going yeah, exactly. as we're trying to make sure we meet all of the obligations the nab the uh, income tax the nis and so on which is all very crucial that we're trying to work on as well as trying to have the students started the school of medicine and we have also just started the school of um the business um mba um program which we have been trying to get off the ground as well we have local tutors which we are I'm very happy about as well because they would also not just stand in a classroom and teach but also help our students to just acclimatize and get a custom and very great tutors we have who are very open to helping our students so i think that's about a mouthful and um i just really you know i'm happy to be part of this enterprise and we are going to do the best we could to make sure it's established and well recognized and respected here in our community i would like to say welcome and we look forward to working together and i know together it will be a wonderful it will be a wonderful experience for you guys and it will be a wonderful experience for our people as we work together to build and educate our islands and malik is he broke me in from day one he i think he think i was a good luck charm yes. <laughs> and so i have been helping him in the setting up and the and the feeling his way and i think it will just grow from strength to strength and i look forward to positive growth 
and a development for all. Yes. Thank you.